to go fight the Nazis, I decided to come home to be with my parents and do my part in the war effort as well. And I helped build over 88 Liberty ships right here in Savannah. Now, warships aren't what Savannah's known for, though. It's actually the Army Air Force that put Savannah on the map during World War II. See, my old church had reached out to America for help in the war. All seven of our Army Air Forces were already scattered around the world protecting us. So, on January 28, 1942, an eighth Air Force was born, right here in Savannah. Which is right up the street just to the National Guard Army Building. And it all started with just seven men and a typewriter. Now, ironically, less than a month later, when those seven men headed to Europe, there were no airfields built yet. They didn't have any planes either, so they had to fly commercial. I ain't joshing. I'll really? tell you, though, those seven men created what became the largest and most powerful air force in the world, the Mighty Eighth Air Force. Now, they used ten-man bombers, that's B-17 flying fortresses and B-24 liberators, in their efforts to destroy the war-making capabilities of Nazi Germany. And they also used fighter pilots to clear the skies over Nazi-occupied Europe for the Normandy invasion, also known as D-Day. Now, while in the air, crewmen often experienced temperatures of more than 40 degrees below zero. And being the leader in a fight takes its toll. See, although a crew was scheduled for 25 missions in the first year of war, the average number of completed missions was actually only six. In only one day, on August 17, 1943, of the 376 planes that went up in the air, 60 were shot down and 47 were so damaged they would never fly again. So, to honor those who served so selflessly, I'm sorry, selflessly, some mighty 8th Air Force veterans have built a massive museum just 15 minutes away in the pool. Now, they offer tons of exhibits, like a fully restored B-17 flying fortress and a mission experience movie. And they honor many of the heroes of the time, like the Tuskegee Airmen and the Women's Air Force Service Pilots. Heck, even Girl Scouts. Now, it is a must-see for any history or aviation buff. And if you do go, tell them Frankie, well, I guess tell them Rosie sent you. <laughs>